this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create tests and place the test within your Blackboard course. There are two ways to create a test and place it into your course. The first way is under Course Management. If you go to Course Tools, each tool is in alphabetical order. And you scroll down to Test, Surveys, and Pools. Click Tests. Click Build Test. Give the test a name and click Submit. Here you can create your questions, which there are a variety of ways to create your question. You could do a calculator formula, essay, fill in the blank, matching, multiple choice, short answer, true false. So here is your place the text of the question. Here, since this is a true or false, you can do vertical or horizontal. The answer is true. These two boxes, you can provide feedback. You can provide feedback for correct responses and then provide feedback for incorrect responses if you choose. Click Submit. And then here you're able to add a point value to each question. Each question can either be the same point value or different point value. Once you have finished creating your test, click OK. As you can see, the name of our test is right here. Deployed, no, and it'll tell you when it was last edited. If you want to add another test, click Build Test. Since it's not deployed, let's go ahead and deploy the test. So we're going to go to the test page. We're going to build assessments. Click tests. And the tests that are not deployed, you're going to see them below. If you wish to create another test, click create. This will take you to that same page we are just on where you can build questions. We're going to deploy our practice test. Click Submit. Here you can add a description or directions. Make available to students. Make announcements. Here you can add multiple attempts. Force completion. So once the test is started, the student must complete it. The set timer. 60 minutes. For one question you may feel is too long, so give them 10 minutes. Auto submit. So it's either off or on. By default, it's always off. Here you can do your display date. For password, you can place the password if you choose to, but usually passwords are meant for proctoring exams. So if the student is taking an online exam, passwords are usually for the proctor add user or group. So this area, if you have a student with disabilities and you want to give them an extension on their test, so instead of 10 minutes you elect to give them 20 minutes. This is the area that you do. So click add user or group. You type in their name or username or group name. Find that student here, click on that student, and enter the exception so you can add the time to that student. Once you have done that, click Submit. Include this test in the Grade Center score calculations. So by default, this one is always checked. Show test results and feedback to students. So you can choose after submission, one time view on a specific date, after due date. By default, it's always after submission. Test presentation. So 
A lot of times you'll have more than one question for a test. So you can elect to do all at once, which means that the student can see the entire test on one screen, one at a time, so present one question at a time. This one is prohibit backtracking. So once the student has answered a question and moved on, they cannot go back and check that question and randomize the question. Once you have finished with your test options, click Submit. So the practice test is now deployed and the students can see it. This has been a quick demonstration of tests and test options in Blackboard Course Shell.